Hello there and welcome to the channel. As you can see, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here and the week has been positively dismal with lots of rain and dampness and what have you. So I'm very, very confident that we're gonna find some mushrooms today. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. There's no point in looking for the little birds. As you can see, the canopy around me is still way too dense, but mushroom photography is such great fun and I can't miss a day like this. So as you may have noticed, the uh, area that I'm in has got some really nice paths that's prepared for people with less mobility, maybe wheelchairs and what have you. So they can also get out and enjoy the forest. But of course, along the sides of the gravel path here, there aren't going to be any real mushrooms. But you do have areas like what is behind me here now, which is um, full of... Um, fallen logs and branches and what have you and I'm really hoping that they are going to be sprouting with a variety of mushrooms to photograph so let me go and have a look so as you can see here we have fallen logs and we have lots of damp undergrowth and we have chopped off stumps of trees and what have you so there should be plenty of opportunity to find a mushroom in here whilst there are mushrooms absolutely everywhere what i have sort of framed up in the video camera at the moment and i'll show you from inside the photography camera as well is that sometimes the mushrooms are too clumped together and then it just becomes a very busy, it becomes a too busy scene. What I'm trying to do with at least my photography on mushrooms is to try and single out a particular subject. There we are, there's the view inside the camera and as you can see it's incredibly busy and the viewer wouldn't know where to focus their attention. It's almost like a city of mushrooms in this. So these kind of mushrooms, while it's really cute and, and really cool, the way they sort of build up this whole town of little mushrooms, I find it really difficult to single out one or a small cluster that could make sense to the viewer to look at the image so I skip these but I thought I'd just mention it because there are so many mushrooms and it might be tempting when you see a cluster like this to have a go at it but these pictures rarely rarely work out so this log is fairly perfect and I can see some really tiny mushrooms on it, but they are kind of really way too small. They need maybe another week or so for this particular log. But it could be really good because there's lots of moss which gives you some lovely greens to brighten up the image a bit with. But We'll see what we can find somewhere else. So I've got to be a little bit careful with where I step here because there are little mushrooms all over the place. I obviously don't want to damage them. So let's have a look. So here I think is my first subject. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little brown mushroom that's coming out of the green moss over here. And I think it will make a really nice picture. My main concern is possibly this log, but I'll see what I can do to circumvent it. Maybe I'll go from the angle where I'm sitting towards the mushroom. <clears throat> I also see another little mushroom peeking out over there it might be a bit too tricky to get something out of it but we'll see what we can uh, do with that 
and as I'm sitting here I'm actually seeing one of the uh, purple mushrooms from last week which is over there and those if you remember are poisonous okay. you'll notice I've opted not to use the um, tripod for this shot which kind of makes things a little tricky but at the same time the tripod is a little too tall and so I need to <clears throat> be able to get low enough for this shot so I'm just using the camera bag and then let me show you in camera the composition that I'm working on so we should be able to get it something like this as long as everything is in focus and yeah it's kind of really simple it's just a little mushroom sticking out so let's uh, see what it turned out or how it turned out All right, so I'm trying this other composition as well, obviously. And I think I like this one quite a bit better. So I am going to show you what I'm doing in camera. So here we are in camera. And it's very, very simple, really. The um, mushroom is just strutting out. I might want to do something like that I'm trying to cut out whatever darkness there is in the background there is a little bit in the right hand corner but if I'm gonna get the mushroom and delightful little leaves next to it I kind of need to keep the composition more or less as it is this one I'm gonna focus stack It's absolutely gorgeous in the forest today, as you can see. We have all this little bit of light, warm light, because it's kind of starting to come into winter now. And it just makes everything so beautiful. Yes, there is mushrooms everywhere here now let's see if we can find another log or something where we might find a subject here we are i found a log with lots of little mushrooms i'm hand holding this so apologies that is a little unsteady so i'm gonna have to go over on the other side though because on this side of the log as you can see they're kind of facing away so I need to go into the other side see you in two seconds right so I'm trying to find a composition here but I'm not entirely sure it works let me show you through the camera doing a straight on thing doesn't work very well so I think what I am going to do is see if I can get them from the side instead it might be more interesting that way <clears throat> right, yes. Let's see if we can do them from the side here and see and see how that works out instead. Battle with everything. Okay, I've tried a few things here, but I think the thing that will work the best 
as usual obviously is to try and single out one particular mushroom so let me show you what I mean in the camera here there is a tiny one in front of it and I don't know what to do I can't really zoom in any further so I might just remove it we'll see what I do I might just clone it out as well Yes, I just managed to bend it gently out of the way so that we just have this. I'm gonna to need to focus stack it and I'm going to want to crop it a little bit as well to give the proper focus. So here is the picture if it turn out any good. So I've come across another composition here as I usually do and I'm just going to show you this absolutely delicious little scene in the camera. As you can see there's a lovely little mushroom poking up. There is also this lichen around here or it's not lichen it's another kind of mushroom. Uh, you can see in the bottom corner of bottom right corner of the frame so when we frame this properly we should have that with this little bit of orange around the mushroom poking out and i think this could be an absolutely cracking image so let's have a look and see how it worked out Right, I think that's it uh, for today. My microphone has uh, packed it in for the day. Uh, I need to charge it and uh, whatnot. So I think we'll uh, stop here. I've had a lot of fun walking around in the forest and uh, just looking for little mushrooms and little scenes and uh, what have you. And I hope you have enjoyed the images that I have shown you today and some of the process. If you like this kind of uh, content, please hit the like button because it tells the YouTube algorithm that it's great to recommend this to other people. And if you enjoyed the channel, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would also be a fantastic thing. Right, so until the next video, enjoy yourselves out in the woods, take care now and see you later. Bye bye.